Well, we're on the move again, and we've got a submarine with us today because we're heading to a flooded bunker. That is right. You heard me correctly. We bought a new abandoned property, and this one is flooded, full of water. So the only way we're able to access the down beneath the ground is to take a submarine underneath and check out if there's anything that we can find because this used to be a super villain's bunker. There used to be a really evil person that had tons of cars and super crazy stuff down there. So yeah, we're going to go explore it and see if we can find some cool stuff. So anyhow, back in the day, there was a huge thunderstorm, a hurricane, and it flooded the entire bunker. The guy left the door open. Right now, it's closed. Let me show you how you get in. You check it out, that little entrance door down there. It's currently closed right now, but that automatically still opens and closes because the electrical box up, up above there. But that used to be the way that it would not allow rainwater in. So when this thunderstorm came through, it flooded the entire bunker, and it turned it into like a sewer. So he, uh, he fleed. He did not stay here. He left because everything he had was fried. So we're going to try and pull all that stuff out, and we'll see if there's anything down there. I don't know what he got. Maybe he came back. We'll have to find out. Anyhow, I brought the transport vehicle with us today. This absolute 8x8 beast. And then we got the submarine loaded on the back. So let's get the straps undone. Check this out. It's pretty sweet. What you do is you click one button and then all the straps come off. Boom. There we go. They're all off. And then we can jump into the submarine. And uh, we have to back it up into the water and then dump it in. And then it should be good to go. It's powered by two thrusters on the back. It's got a... Super nice spotlight, so let's go ahead and back it in the water. There we go. I've got a winch on this truck, so if we find anything, then that way we can pull it out with this thing. Put the parking brake on. Let's go ahead and actually turn this one off, and then we're good to get in the submarine. Where's the door at? I think it's up top here. Yep. All righty, I'm in. I got two joysticks here. The thrusters are in the water, so we should be good. This thing is running. Looks good. Those little valves is actually how you could flood the submarine, so let's not do that quite yet. But if we have to go underground... We just turn those uh, little dials, and then we're going underneath the water. All right, watch. This door should open here. There we go. We got the lights on on the submarine. There we go. The door's still open. That's crazy. Oh, there's some items down here. But yeah, this looks like a bunker, a storage facility. I don't know what this guy used it as, but yeah, he definitely was storing cars down here. Looks like there's some cars over here in the corner. Let's kind of explore the property. We're underwater right now. I can actually feel the pressure of this cabin. It's definitely, uh, definitely a lot higher. But here we go. We got lights. Those are all burnt out, of course. Look, he's got cameras around the property. I don't think those are working, so he won't be able to see us. Uh, let's see. He's got three cars down here. Oh, yeah. McLaren and Audi R8. Yeah, those are some super villain cars right there. We've got the nice little submarine camera. It's 4K vision on. So, yeah, this thing is sweet. And then looks like a... Oh, it's a Ford Bronco. That's sweet. I didn't know villains drove a Ford Bronco, but I guess he has to get around no man's land for, you know, somehow... I can't really take a McLaren on dirt roads every day. Alrighty, well, like I said, the way that we are going to get the cars out is by winching them out with the truck. So what I'm going to have to do is I got the winch already attached to the back of the submarine. So once this cable is detached, we'll hook it up to a car and pull this thing out. But we're going to have to put on our scuba gear and go for a little swim. Alrighty, here we go. I got my scuba gear on. Okay, yep, there we go. We got the winch attached. We should be able to pull it out now. Top back in the submarine. We'll get out of here. There we go. Okay, we got to hook up the Audi first. We're going to pull this one out. And then I don't know what we're going to do with it after that. Maybe we'll sell it. I don't know if we'll get any money because everything's fried in the vehicle. All righty, we got this winch max out. So now we're just trying to pull this thing out of the water. It is heavy, though. Look at this. This big transport vehicle can't even pull it out of the water. All right, we're going to have to try and readjust here. I think this guy's got a bulletproof Audi RA because this thing is not budging. Come on. There we go. All right, I think we almost got it. Come on, a little bit more. Oh, no. We're popping wheelies in the transport truck. There we go. We got it on the mainland, boys. Well, this thing might actually be bulletproof, so let's get the winch off. Oh, my gosh. It is bulletproof. Look at the side panels. It's got a gigantic two-inch thick glass, which is uh, bulletproof glass, of course. And, yeah, this is insane. I guess, uh, you know, every supervillain needs, a, you know, uh, a bulletproof vehicle, but, I mean, this is crazy. Okay. Okay. Well, we got it out of the water. That was difficult. We had to pull it through the door. Let's go back in with the submarine, and we're going to go scuba diving again because we're going to go grab a McLaren P1. So let's see if this door opens. Keep going. Yes, as long as the door opens, I'm happy. All right, perfect. All right, let's get the winch hooked up on this McLaren P1, and then we'll be good to go and pull this thing out of the water. 
All righty, we got this other car winched up. Let's try and get this one out. I think it'll be a little easier because it's not bulletproof. So there we go. Let's just try and get it through the door. But, I mean, it is really struggling. These things are not lightweight. Come on, truck. I think it could be a problem with that the winch is too long. But we can't go down there with this truck because we'll flood it. So uh, let's see. Let's try one more strat. I'm going scuba diving, boys. Here we go. Yeah, I think the winch is too long. We can't get enough torque to get this thing out of here. So what we got to do is, all right, let's try and winch it in, and then we'll yank the truck, uh, you know, and then we'll try and pull it forward. But for now, I think we should use the winch and the power it's got. It's got a 10,000-pound max capacity. So here we go. Let's winch it up. Fire it up. All right, there we go. It's winching up. Keep coming. I think, yep, it's almost there. It's moving. There we go. We got the McLaren out of the water. That is two for two. All right. We've recovered these vehicles. That's good. Let's just get this, this McLaren up next to the Audi. Oh, my gosh. This one's heavy, too. It's obviously because it's full water. It's not helping. It doubles the weight of the vehicle. And this thing's got 10,000 pounds. It's it's a lot of water in there, too. I'm, I'm probably guessing. So, all right. We're moving here. There we go. Once we get up onto the main ground, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and take off the winch here. Oh, my gosh. This thing's about to snap. All right. Looks good. Well, we got one more vehicle to go for, and it's a lot closer. It is the Ford Bronco. So let's go back underwater with the scuba scuba gear. There we go. Open sesame. All right, the Bronco, yeah, it's really close. Here we go. Let's dive in and let's hook up the winch. Perfect. All right, winch is attached. And we might have to move the truck a little bit more and adjust it. But let's take the submarine back up to the main ground. Oh, this thing works so good. It's so cool having a submarine. All right, there we go. All right, we can't move anymore. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And let's fire up the winch on this thing. Alrighty, this one was a lot easier. I don't know why. Maybe because of the big tires, but we got this one out. No problem. Let's go ahead and take off the winch here. And there you go. We successfully recovered three vehicles, and we can probably use the parts. They're not in terrible condition. They've been clean because they've been sitting in water. Obviously, probably the seats are destroyed. The engines are destroyed. But other than that, I could probably get, you know, 50000 for parts from both these vehicles. And we spent 100000 on this property, so we made our money back. And then we got the Bronco there. We can get some money back on. So we're up on our investment, which is always good. Let's see how much water comes out here. Ready? Oh, no. A fish just fell out. Oh, that's nasty. Okay. All right. We are done. Uh, we're not going to go through the rest of these vehicles. There's probably lots of different seaweed and other stuff like that. So, all right. We are uh, we are complete at today's abandoned property, I call it. But also a flooded property. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video of like a flooded supervillain's lair. And he must have had a lot more cars before this thing completely filled up. Because uh, there was only three in there. And I, I would guess he had a couple hundred. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, smash the like button if you enjoyed these videos. Subscribe below. And turn your notifications on. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.